I think that our students are easily benchmarked with the top students around the, the globe, with peer universities, and here is an opportunity with Melbourne Spring Fashion Week for RMIT students to be showcased, and we can take that to the world. I've been working in here with these guys for about four or five weeks, just checking on what they're doing. And it's been great because I get to see them from their sketches that they've submitted to be part of the runway through to their twirl stages on, on the mannequins and through to their finished result now that we're working towards because we're only three weeks out. So we get starting to see some finished garments, which is amazing. I know I say it every single year, but this is going to probably be the most outstanding year. I look at the quality of the work, I look at the diversity of the work, and I just think it's world class. I think you'll see innovation like you've never seen before, but you'll also see some of the most exquisite wearable pieces that you'll go, I want that, I want it in my wardrobe now, how do I get it? It was 11 years ago that I remember sitting down with Melbourne Spring Fashion Week to, to discuss and talk about this as an opportunity. I knew that we wanted to showcase our students' work in a way that was on par with how the top institutes globally present their work. It was an opportunity to bring Melbourne's best fashion education alongside Melbourne's best fashion event and bring it together. And I still remember that first show. We did it on a shoestring and the excitement and the energy was palpable. My favourite part of Fashion Week is always the first girl on the runway, the house lights go down and she's off. And that's when the adrenaline hits. That's when everyone backstage goes into action. And then I guess the other side of that is the last model to come off the catwalk. That's just always such a relief. It's, you know, it's a great show. Uh, we can all kind of relax. If you're an aspiring stylist, I would say, don't do it, get a real job. That was meant to be funny, but I, um, <laughs> I don't know whether it came across that way. It was almost serious, like, just get out of my way. Yeah. There's enough of you already.